I've been a part of the team who's been coordinating, planning and organising some of the ophthalmology seminars and talks as part of the ophthalmology theatre. That's been a really enjoyable experience to curate, to plan, to deliver some of the content which has been on over the last few days. And I've, I've loved it. It's been really enjoyable to meet so many people, develop some of my organisational skills, develop networks with colleagues and the industry and to put on this really educational session. We've been working really hard over the past 12 months to plan all the sessions, to meet with speakers, to try and coordinate all the various sessions that have been going on. And I'm actually relieved that it's all gone really successfully. Everyone's learned a lot. I've learned loads. And it's been a really good opportunity to meet with colleagues, to meet with industry, to plan some of the research that we've been doing, have face-to-face -face meetings with all the people that we've had lots and lots of Zooms and Teams calls with. So meeting in person has been a great, collaborating, talking, learning, enjoying, and having some great fun as well. At your typical ophthalmology congress, you've got a majority of ophthalmologists and a minority of optometrists, whereas here I feel like it's the other way around. You've got a majority of optometrists and this year a, minor a minority of ophthalmologists. So it's a great opportunity for ophthalmologists who are interested in collaborative working, who may have some leadership roles within organisations such as NHS England, the Royal College, to then come here and have the opportunity, that platform, to engage with lots of optometrists, not just those who are keen to get to talk to everyone. I think that's really good. I've been to around 15 sessions over the weekend. I've not been able to go to every single one of them. But in almost all of the ones we've had, standing room only. I did my slit lamp session yesterday. And as you know, I love slit lamps. Yeah. I love slit lamp imaging and teaching anything to do with slit lamp imaging. And for my session, which where I did my slit lamp brand browns, and we showed videos, images, photos, cases. And we had people going on their phones where they could engage with the session, put in the symptoms and signs they were seeing, suggest diagnoses, discuss the cases, vote on various things. People seem to really enjoy that. Um, so I think the engagement was very, very good. And it was also nice to have an audience with a mixture of optometrists, ophthalmologists, medical students, junior doctors, eyes, health professionals. I think that was really nice as well. I really enjoyed going to sessions about referrals between optometrists and ophthalmology because that's something that I really enjoy as well. Being able to talk to some of the senior leaders in these areas and be able to get some insights into their perspectives on where problems are, bottlenecks. So that when we plan and discuss research in these areas, we can get better perspective on uh, optometrists and how they feel that things are. I think it's been really successful this year. It's the first time we've done something for ophthalmologists. I think it's a really good opportunity to bring ophthalmology and optometry together because I feel that we're being more collaborative than ever before. Ophthalmology is the busiest outpatient specialty. We have the biggest backlogs. I think it's so fundamental to work collaboratively to solve some of these issues. We know that the next government is likely to introduce policies which see more and more patients being treated for their chronic diseases in the community. I think it's more important than ever before that we have strong relationships to be able to do this. So having conferences like this, where we have both groups of professions in the same building is really important. In the Royal College of Ophthalmologists Congress, we're now seeing engagement from allied health professionals, optometrists, together attending the same conferences. I think this is another example of that collaborative working together. So next year, I think maybe more of a theme on collaborative working, more sessions where we focus and reflect on how we can improve that collaboration, share best practice, get people in the room together, discuss, collaborate, share. I think that's what it's all about. So hopefully we can build on that and build relationships as well.